Why you fucking need minerals for the brain? The brain's functioning cognitive processes are governed by numerous neurotransmitters. They are chemical messengers that send messages from a nerve cell to a target via a synapse. Humans, we evolved from the nature around us. All the way back to the Big Bang when all, I mean, if that actually happened, but the minerals, all these, the periodic table, all these things came together and then nature figured out a way to put us together so that we have consciousness and we're thinking, we can record TikTok videos. It's pretty wild actually, <laughs> but we are made up of this stuff. Nature used this stuff from the environment, from food, from water, earth, ground, walking, like just all the ways we would interact with the environment over hundreds of millions of years of evolution from single cell organisms walking on, coming out of the, the lakes, walking on the, uh, walking fish, I guess is what, what it was. And then eyeballs evolved because eyeballs are super complex apparently. And then eventually we got here, right? And the point of that completely random ramble is that you need minerals to function, like literally to function. We know that we need food, right? We got to eat food. We need energy, but it's not just calories in the form of energy. It's minerals, it's vitamins, it's nutrients. It's certain things that if we don't consume, we perish. If you don't consume essential minerals and of course, essential vitamins, Anything that is considered essential means you have to consume it. Your body can't produce it and you need it to live. Think about how crazy that is, how important it is to get these nutrients into your body, mostly through your diet and mostly through whole real foods that are locally grown, though the bulk of our food system today is mass monocrop processed garbage, which is why people are energy rich, obesity, yet nutrient starved. So they keep eating and eating and eating. The brain keeps saying, eat more of this processed crap. I need to get my nutrients. And the nutrients aren't there. So the brain says, keep eating. That's why they call them empty calories. Okay. Let's, I mean, that could be enough for the video, but like, let's look at a few more of these points here. So to make serotonin and melatonin, which are literally integral to health, to sleep, to whatever, you need magnesium, calcium, iron, copper, cobalt, and zinc. Potassium supplementation has a positive effect on sleep quality and slow wave sleep. Since magnesium controls the levels of potassium in the body, this funk uh, further highlights the importance of potassium. And then you can see here all these different minerals needed in these different steps. 5-HTP, serotonin, melatonin, tri tri tryptophan, you need calcium, magnesium, folate, B3, vitamin C, uh, potassium, folate. Yeah, I mean, and this is just a few things of the myriad processes in your body in mind that you need minerals for. I, like, I guess the point is just freaking consume minerals, get a hair test, try lots, try magnesium. That's just such a no brainer. Maybe magnesium blown with electrolyte, like Oxymag. Uh, and listen to what your body says, eat more real whole food, get outside in the dirt, in nature, in salt water, sea water, right? You absorb all kinds of nutrients from just getting in nature. And if you, if you legit are the type that care about health, which you probably are, you wouldn't be here, then you need to really think about minerals, okay? It's not just vitamins. Vitamins is another topic. That's another thing, right? Minerals specifically, because they've been so depleted from our soil. And that's why we have like magnesium, uh, chromium, some of these things as the most nutrient dense or most nutrient starved, most nutrient deficient minerals in for people in America today. And that's just getting worse every single day, every single year, every single monocrop strip mine, fake food, as that just grows and more people eat it, then more people get sick and deficient.